welcome to your twin flame pick a card reading i am alden and i am a student of twin flame ascension school and life purpose class with jeff and shalia and today i have three crystals and you can take a moment to choose one if you really like more than one you know see which one if you can put one first um so i have citrine here you could say it's number one, going from left to right, lapis lazuli, and strawberry quartz. So if you want to just go ahead, I'm going to be silent for five seconds if you haven't decided yet. Good. So go ahead and hold that vision of your choice. In your heart and tune into that love that you are feeling for the divine for yourself for your twin flame union and let go of everything that says otherwise and just you know take some time to receive the message of your card and the next step for you on your twin flame journey so we're gonna go from left to right so if you did pick citrine then your card is control issues Yellow Jasper, utilize your God-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may try to control you. So this is a very appropriate card to have with Citrine, which is definitely about, um, of course, it's Yellow Jasper, but um, it's also similar colors and the lower chakras is what it speaks to and just taking back your personal power and this is what's going to help you be more creative and also it speaks to you know in the beginning when i mentioned letting go of anything that you feel is holding you back uh, so sometimes you might have a story that you tell yourself about a particular area of your life and something to remember is that everything comes back to your union so even if something doesn't seem like it's related uh, if it's important to you, then it is. And so it's important to then look at that and bring love there. Utilize the mirror exercise links below if you need the steps or if you just want a refresher or reminder, you can even write it down, right? And um, yeah, so and when you release control, then you're gonna have more peace in that place and you're gonna feel just on fire. That's what comes to mind. You're gonna, you're gonna feel ready to really rule in that area, and um, and that's appropriate. That's good, right? That's how you want to feel. And another layer may come up, and that is okay because that means that you've just taken this next step. And remember, that's all you need to do is just take that step in front of you and continue to deepen into your commitment and love. So. That is citrine, and you can meditate on any additional meaning that that has for you in your heart. And you can take in the rest of the cards if you would like to as well to see the other messages if you pick citrine. So let's move on to lapis lazuli. And your card is, oh, I like how these, uh, the colors are matching. Um, it also kind of matches this fabric here. Aquamarine, divine life purpose, trust the signs and your inner guidance which are leading you to fulfillment. So this to me is inviting you to clear out your third eye area, uh, clear out more of your upper chakras, to allow for downloads for your next steps for your life purpose. And so, you know, that's a part of interesting signs. It doesn't necessarily mean that you need to attach meaning to outside things just to like try to create a story, but uh, really like feel into your heart with the meaning there is. And it's safe to also, you know, if you want to do research on a sign you receive or something and go deeper with it, just do it from a heart centered place and from a genuine place. And, uh, you know, this is going to take you deeper into what you are passionate about. And when you tap into what you're passionate about and you get more honest about it, that's very attractive to your twin flame. 
uh, because you are designed to have a purpose together. And sometimes this means more on the outside. It might look like you're doing different things or it might look like you're basically doing like two sides of the same, let's say, you know, you have a company together or something. Um, but however your union is designed and however your next step is as well, as you unite with your twin flame and you deepen into your purpose, it's safe to surrender into what you're being called to now. Look at signs, for instance, in what you've been trained to do and how that could apply to what you desire to do. I think too often that you know, we shy away from something that we're good at because we haven't had a good experience in the past or kind of said, oh no, that isn't for me. I must have made a mistake with pursuing that. But there's always something there for you. So uh, you don't need to completely shut out parts of your lessons that you've learned uh, in past like careers and anything else purpose related. So that's something to keep in mind too, to really allow that to integrate within you and for that to feel safe and to feel good because that allows you to express your whole self and you never know how like an experience that you've had and sharing it with another is going to positively impact them and help them. And I know that that has been the case for me, you know, just sometimes it's something simple that someone says. So, um, so yeah, just keep on trusting, deepen into that trust and then also pay attention to uh, like any kinds of visions that you're receiving as well. And if uh, you want to stick around for Strawberry Quartz, or if this is your pick, awesome. So let's see what's on the other side of this last card. Okay, well, it's not quite pink or red, so I was kind of like, is it gonna, <laughs> is it gonna match too? Um, so it's Azurite. Azurite, a uh, deep emotional healing. So it says your heart is ready to heal from the past. Oh, sorry, from past experiences, and you are willing to devote time and energy towards therapeutic care. Let's read that again. Your heart is ready to heal from past experiences, and you are willing to devote time and energy towards therapeutic care, deep emotional healing. So this can speak directly to you taking a next step on your Twin Flame Ascension journey and have you invested in yourself there? Have you taken what your heart is calling for to the next level? Uh, for instance, with Twin Flame Ascension School, um, have you made an effort to really honestly look at your upsets and love yourself there with the mirror exercise and is there anywhere else that you can love yourself when maybe you're not quite looking um, or you haven't wanted to look and what I notice is that sometimes it's um, that you're looking at all of the kind of distracting upsets but there's something that's actually upsetting you that's pretty obvious about like your twin flame or yeah often your twin Let, we'll use that as an example it could be something else but this is this is what the reading is about and this is perhaps uh you know what it is that you're being called to look at so then you just want to go there and be honest with what you are upset about. Not try to like use the mirror exercise to figure out what your twin flame is upset about or something like that, but what are you upset about, honestly? And then you can go through the steps and love yourself uh, wherever you find a part of you that has been shut out or separated from your higher self, from your heart space. And because you are divine love and so you have the power to give divine love to yourself and so that's a really beautiful thing and when you do go through deep emotional healing that also strengthens your relationship with the divine with source and um, there you know so there is a higher power and this higher power is 
for you and is always desiring for you to fully realize your harmonious union with your twin flame and your perfect union just to continue harmonizing from wherever you're at and so you're always going to be like helped with doing that so if you really surrender into that uh, then that's that's just going to help you to receive you know whatever your next step is in alignment and so oops, again just uh keep noticing what you're being called to claim for yourself in terms of support because all the work that you need is right here actually in the links below and so it's gonna really uh, really help you completely to harmonize your union and isn't that what you desire if it is then you have the answer so there you go um, I really like the way these cards look with stones it's nice so I hope you enjoyed this reading and it was really a pleasure to do it for you and um, I will include timestamps for each card and so take care and definitely subscribe to this channel if you aren't yet subscribed because there's amazing content from our coaches and content creators for Twin Flames Universe. And if you would like to work with me, then there is a link below for that too. And uh, I will see you next time. So take care. Bye.